Hi everyone, I just was going to share a cute little uh, mini album, a file folder mini album that I am in the process of making. I'm almost done. I do have a very short um, pictures of a few of the steps that I took to make this because it's just a little bit different than uh, the tutorial that I saw on this, which I will leave the link down below. And so the front cover, it looks like this. It's, like I said, it's out of it's out of three file folders. And I made this little crochet flower. I made the stick pin. And I did a crochet edging and put it on the, the side here. And it just opens with a ribbon. And I'll go quickly because there's not much embellishments in it at all. Uh, I did this really fast and I really enjoyed doing this and I like the look of it. Um, I really, really like the look of it. Um, I did do something a little different than what uh, in the video tutorial uh, about the binding and I'll tell you about that on the next video. So there's the front and there are two little lovebirds. Oh, the paper that I used for this is I used die cuts with a view the garden tea party stack it's beautiful beautiful paper and I couldn't wait to use it and so here's the album and like I said it's really I'll do a really quick video here this is just mostly it's just photo mats and don't mind my stammering I do really lousy on my videos I don't like talking on videos so I'm definitely not somebody that you need to listen to if you're watching my videos. Anyways, photo mats on each side. And then on this side, there's a little pocket and photo mat. Journaling on both these pages. And a tag. <clears throat> and a photo mat. And then a large photo mat on each side of these with a pull-out photo mat there. And then a photo mat here. And I made a pocket on this side there's going to be two tags I'm not done with it yet but there will be two tags in there and <clears throat> on this side photo mat here I mean sorry journaling here and a nice photo mat here and this is going to be a basically four page little booklet that will be for photos and journaling and I haven't quite finished that and that's going to go there and then another tag for in here and I'm going to, <clears throat> each of the tags have holes, and so I'm going to go ahead and do something, flowers or, or uh, fibers or something on each of them. And then on this side, another little <clears throat> pocket with a couple of tags, photo mats. And then on this side, <clears throat> photo mats on each side, and a couple of tags in here. And then on this side, there's one pull-out photo mat on this side. And then a photo mat here, photo mat there, and another little pocket there, and a couple of tags. And on the last, inside the last pages, <coughs> excuse me, this beautiful, beautiful paper here. I don't know if you can see the shimmer on it, but it's just it's just gorgeous and I so I wanted to leave it open I didn't want to put anything on it and then another photo mat here and this was a crocheted um, heart that I had tried and this, I decided to go ahead and I just attached it to right behind the paper there and put it here and then there's the back and it closes with the ribbon so there it is two little lovebirds thank you very much for watching and I will put up a few of the photos that I said that I did prior to uh, actually making the album and to let you know the little bit of difference that I did from the video tutorial that you'll that you'll be able to check out by going to the link below. Thank you very much for watching. Bye bye.